Hey Virgo! This is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 24th of January 2022. We'll have our two cards per day, like for every day of this week and from there. Okay, Monday, the 24th of January for you, Virgo, Five of Cups. Tuesday, the Devil. Wednesday, the Sun. <coughs> Pardon me. Thursday, King of Pentacles. Friday, Knight of Swords. Saturday, Knight of Pentacles. And Sunday with Five of Pentacles. Right, the Fool, your influencing energy. Okay. Five of Cups, Monday, with Eight of Cups. Tuesday, the Devil, with Five of Wands, the Sun. Wednesday, with the Emperor. King of Pentacles, with Ten of Cups, Thursday. Friday, <clears throat> Knight of Swords, with Queen of Wands. Saturday, Knight of Pentacles, with Page of Cups. Five of Pentacles with Knight of Wands. Four of Wands with the Fool. Four of Wands is kind of success, celebrating some sort of success. So maybe something around your home, buying your new home that you first flat, okay? Um, could it be some sort of anniversary, childbirth celebration at home. In that sense, this is home card. Could mean also your personal home, feeling good, finding your comfort zone. Could also be something like that. With something that you are about, something that you are doing, something that you used to do, and then you have this first success, makes you feel good. You're comfortable now. From there, you can maybe make great success. You can go further on. You see what I'm saying? There's opening. This is portal opening for your life. And you are perhaps very optimistic about that, what you used to do. There where you are right now, you can use it as a starting point for something great in your life. In that sense, you're influencing energies. Perhaps that's how you came into this week. Very optimistic um, energy. Now Monday with Eight of Cups, Five of Cups, leaving behind your past. You have to, okay, Monday comes and it is compulsory for you. Five of Cups, you will be remembering, you will perhaps talk about it all day long on Monday. About what was said and bad, what was difficult, who offended you, what was regrettable. All day long, nothing wrong for you, okay, two cups are standing here behind this person and talks about the balance, harmony. Current situation is just fine. You do have things going on in your life with four of wands, with two cups behind this person. Okay, you are just heading towards something different. You're kind of sitting on that threshold. Going for something else, okay, threshold. You're supposed to go through this portal, through this door, and happy life for waiting for you. You see what I'm saying? Full energy, zero point, everything is possible. Just go through, go for something else. Leave behind that what you used to have. Even if it wasn't that bad, okay, it was successful. Four of Wands, I told you, it is that first success. Okay, you did have, but it's not your end goal. It's not success that you would like for yourself. It's not your end goal. It's not where you are heading. It was just stoppage. Okay, moment to take a breath and then move on. Now, on Monday, it's just about that. It's time for you to move on. That's just that sort of realization. But you will not do it on this day. You will just talk about, okay, what was difficult and why you have to leave it behind and why it doesn't serve you and uh, what offended you and what is difficult for you. You know, you will kind of need to justify that decision that you are moving forward, you are leaving behind something that doesn't serve you anymore. Doesn't matter what it doesn't matter how good or bad it was. Okay, you are leaving it behind. Decision is there for you, and instead of moving on immediately, no, you are standing now here on Monday, reminiscing everything that was difficult. In that sense, your Monday, Virgo. Not the devil and five of wands. 
kind of tough Tuesday. Look, Five of Wands is kind of confusion that you have in your head about some, some about something. I don't know. Something that is big authority, maybe, maybe big boss, maybe government, maybe Capricorn person. Something that is above you, something that makes decision perhaps for you, something that you have to obey. And you do feel that this energy could be a little bit manipulative, could be a little bit overbearing, overly materialistic, or in a way, you know, the devil, somebody maybe lies to you. I really feel that you are seeing it now and you don't know how to react. You don't have a right reaction, right answer for this energy out there to this boss. For you are seeing what this boss is doing. You are seeing what this person, this Capricorn, this, I don't know, government is doing. You don't have answer. You've got options. Maybe I could do that and that and maybe that. And you see what I'm saying? But nothing really that's, that can commit you to one idea. You feel submissive. You feel oppressed on this day in a way. And you don't have a way out. Your ideas, that what you can, that what you could, that what is on your mind, just doesn't cut it. Nothing that seems right solution on this Tuesday for you. Um, Virgo, could be that somebody lied to you something. Somebody's asking you to borrow money and you know this person will never give you back. Um, you know, tricky situations like that and you are a little bit confused. You don't know how to react. You simply don't have answer to that. Uh, lies, manipulations, I don't know, something uh, devilish. <laughs> uh, strange day. Anyway, caution on this day, uh, Virgo. Okay, on Tuesday. If this reading you see that resonates for you, just mark this Tuesday <laughs> and be very cautious. Anyway, much better Wednesday. All right, two majors. There's the ruler as well, but in a different way. This is also boss. Boss and the ruler, but manipulative, materialistic, lying one. And this is also boss, but a different one. You see what I'm saying? We can maybe talk about the very same person, about the very same situation. It's just that, that you did have a different perception, okay? On Tuesday, different on Wednesday. On Wednesday is the right one. Now you know what is exactly going on with this person, with this boss, with your father maybe. You see what I'm saying? Now you can't trust your boss. Now you can't trust this person. Now it's a completely different perception of that situation of somebody who is ruler in here. Okay, that government institution, decision that government made. Okay, you didn't know what to do with that. On this day, everything is clear. There's clarity, there's the sun cord. Everything is joyful. Uh-huh, is that so? Now it's much better, now it's useful, uh, now it's joyful. You see what I'm saying? Now you can do something with it. The emperor energy, is constructor okay builder now you are constructing something else for yourself that what you couldn't really see clearly and you did have doubts and you you were very suspicious in a way could be that you know the very same situation tuesday and wednesday that we are talking about the very same thing it's only on tuesday you were the one who's suspicious you were with this devilish energy. You couldn't trust. You were suspicious. You didn't believe. You know, in that sense, could very well be something like that. Now that you know that you are seeing it clearly on Wednesday, now you see, oh, it's very beneficial. Now this can change your life. You know, make it much better. Make it different. Make it completely different, in fact. The emperor changes the structure, okay, in your life. And it seems to me being that this energy is within you, you are doing it willingly. You want to change your life. You want to make it different. You want to have your children. You want to go vacation. You see what I'm saying? You want to do something that is enjoyable. You want to start this project that does have a great future for you. Big growth is promised with that project, with that job, with something. Okay, could be something like that on this day, but very much clarity, brighter future for you with whatever that you do, whatever that you are trying to change, whatever that you are trying to establish, whatever foundations that you are putting now. Okay, whether that is your private life, you are changing your private life, you want to get married, you want to have children, whether that is your business life, you want to have this new project that will last for next 20 years and you will develop and grow with it. 
You see what I'm saying? Meaningful change that you are planning to do with these energies on Wednesday. Business with the King of Pentacles, suitable for you, Virgo, that's your energy. Maybe your boss, maybe you, but a very suitable energy brings happiness. That what is your business, that is what is your career, that um, maybe person there, maybe your boss. It doesn't matter, it's you or another person or it's just the energy. We are talking values. You do understand values in things that are happening around you, why and how this change is coming, what is their valuable, what will bring you money, what will bring success, what will be lasting for you. Lasting energy with the King of Pentacles makes you endlessly happy. We do see something um, long term here. You are changing here, Virgo. You are planning something. You are seeing future for I don't know for these changes that you are making right now. Um, it seems that this you are making for long term. This is not changes. These are not foundations. This is not business that is for this week or for this month. No, this is something that's supposed to grow with time. Something that's supposed to make you happy. Something that's supposed to bring you money to make you pension fund. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, that vision, that land we are seeing in here. Um, Virgo, very interesting. You are planning, big time planning your future here. Knight of Swords on Friday with Queen of Wands. I love this queen because brings that enjoyable energy. No fear, no doubts, great ideas. This is the bravest energy. This queen is fearless. Great ideas, but joy, enthusiasm. Things could be unusual, maybe eccentric. No fear at all. Everything is possible for you. Everything is doable for you. And whatever that is on your mind with this energy, yes, you can create. On this Friday, you can do it. You're going to create it and you are loving it. Okay. You are your bestest friend here on this day, on Friday. You might, though, rush it up. Okay, because now that which you have on your mind, as I said, it's exciting energy, but could bring you into this uh, euphoric mode. Okay, Knight of Swords is euphoria. It's crazy. Run forward, do it, hundred things in one day. You might exhaust yourself. Though, as I said, this is great motive. This energy motivates you to do and to do it now and to do it urgently. And you see what I'm saying? This isn't patient energy. Night of swords is rush it up. Do it now. Do it today. You know, it's a lot on your mind and you would like to do it now, today. But anyway, I like it because it is enthusiastic. You might be just careful, okay, not to overdo it, not to exhaust yourself. Because with these energies on Friday, you might actually start in the morning and you haven't finished till late in the evening. Be just because you're liking it, you're enthusiastic, you think it's better if I do it now, Friday, okay? But this is better, okay? This is more suitable for you, Virgo, with this Knight of Pentacles. This is very grounded. Now, this is practical energy. On Saturday, could be extension of everything that is happening here, but could be something that stands independently. That now, on this Saturday, you just want to do something practically. You want to... I don't know, fix something around your, your bedroom. I don't know, there's concrete job that you dedicated yourself to. And you will do it slowly but surely. You will even enjoy it. Maybe you're doing it first time, but you are certain, oh, I'm going to do it perfectly. I'm not going to pay professional painters. I'm going to paint walls in my bedroom myself. Okay? And then you've got ideas and you are doing it and you are like a child, like you are playing game here on Saturday. You are doing this job. You will, you'll succeed, you'll do it because you are methodical. Okay? It will give you great pleasure. You're going to like it. Whether that you are, as I said, fixing your, I don't know, your bedroom or you are making black forest cake, it doesn't matter. We are talking practical thing that you are doing with pleasure like a child. You are really enjoying this, what you're doing on um, Saturday. Look, five of pentacles. And um, knight of wands. Look, this five of pentacles is poor energy. You know, when you felt left alone on your own devices, not having enough money, not having, I don't know, nothing enough, nothing is enough here, feeling sick and poor. You see what I'm saying? Very poor energy. 
Now, I believe it comes up here on Sunday just for you, just as a reference. Okay, you can be in a better place. That's what you know. Look, this is greatest creators that you have in here, Queen of Wands, and now there's Knight of Wands again within you. It seems to me that you are definitely holding on to this, this great idea that you will create. You are doing it, okay? You are going for it and you are enthusiastic, you are jolly, you will take this energy away. It stands there prominently just for you to tell you, you don't have to be there, Virgo. You've got ideas, you've got everything needed, you can create for yourself something else, you can be in abundant place, you can have your money, you don't need other people, you are doing it by yourself, okay? With excitement, with passion, you will do it. Even if you don't have much of a plan, okay, with this one, you will achieve it. You know, even if it goes a bit random, a bit jumpy, you know, doesn't matter. You will achieve it. You will put yourself in much better place. This Five of Pentacles stands here just for your reference, just to remind you, you don't have to be there, Virgo. You can do much better for yourself. And you are ready. You have idea. You are ready. You are going for it. You are already on the move to put yourself in the much better place. Anyway, it seems some exciting, successful week for you, um, Virgo. Enjoy it. Now, if you want your private reading, one like this one that you saw just now, go to my description box below. Click on the Fiverr link and um, that will take you through your order.